Apple flaw leads to password exposure, iPhone 7 devices at risk, and Norway announces a new security venture. This is Hacker Daily for Thursday, September 28, 2017, and I'm your host, Marley Oxenholm. A newly discovered flaw in Apple's Mac software could expose your keychain passwords. Security researcher Patrick Wardle uncovered the vulnerability in Apple's Mac operating system just after the company launched its newest version of Mac OS, known as High Sierra, on September 25th. Wordle posted a video demonstrating the bug and reported the issue to Apple. The video shows how an app could be used to extract plain text passwords for services such as Facebook, Twitter, and Bank of America from a Mac's keychain without requiring a master password. Apple is currently investigating the proof of concept shown in Wardle's video. This comes after the company launched a bug bounty program back in 2016 to encourage developers and researchers to report security issues. But a recent report from Motherboard indicated that the program may not be effective since hackers can get more money by selling their discoveries elsewhere. In other news, a Google security researcher has discovered a vulnerability that can be exploited remotely via a Wi-Fi connection to take over iPhone 7 handsets. A member of the Google Project Zero security team, Gal Benin Amini, stated, Upon successful execution of the exploit, a backdoor is inserted into the firmware, allowing remote read-write commands to be issued via crafted action frames, thus allowing easy remote control over the Wi-Fi chip. Since the exploit works remotely, no user interaction is needed and can be used to target anyone attempting to connect to a rogue Wi-Fi network. The researcher published the exploit code after Apple released security updates for iOS last week. The issue affects all iOS versions but was fixed with the release of iOS 11. And although the demo code works on iPhone 7 devices, the main vulnerability affects a broad range of products such as Android headsets, smart TVs running TV OS, and other devices with Broadcom Wi-Fi chips. And lastly, Norway announced this week that it plans to join the NATO Cooperative Cyber Defense Center of Excellence. Norway is seeking to join the center as a sponsoring nation, which is a membership status available to all NATO allies. Director of the NATO CCDCOE Merle Magri stated, Potential enlargement of our multinational team proves that our center continues to be attractive for allies. We all win from being open to collaboration among like-minded nations in the cyber domain. We welcome the decision of Norway, one of the founding allies of NATO, as this further strengthens our center's cyber defense expertise. Well, that's all I have for you guys today, and thank you for tuning in for your current InfoSec highlights at Hacker Daily. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. And use our promo code, HackerDaily, to receive 10% off on all Hacker Arsenal gear. Once again, that promo code is HackerDaily. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.